Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across this beautiful blue-green globe of ours. Welcome to Real News Live. I'm your host, Mike Barra, in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm still, Jen, I, I still tend to want to say um, Seattle, Washington. It's weird. I, I, I've not got a Las Vegas embedded in my head yet. Joined, as always, by my lovely co-host, the lovely lady, Mr. Hair, Jennifer Falladorin in Hayden, Idaho. Jen, Jen, how are you this lovely Monday morning? Great. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Yeah, I, I just want to let everybody know I'm a little bit stressed out right now. I had to take the weekend. I had to do the taxes. I had to get ready for Katie's birthday. I had to clean the house. I do other stuff. So healings and emails I'm behind on, and I will get caught up over the next couple of days. So please don't email me and, and ask for a refund. Yeah, because she'll get to it. She'll get to it. <laughs> All right. Uh, I had a moderate weekend. Um my fucking shoulder is killing me. God, I can't lift my arm over my head. And I was thinking, oh, this is all stress, right? Because, you know, I, I'm a big advocate of Dr. Sarno and this whole thing where, where, you know, anger and frustration and everything going on in Israel just made me, you know, I've got, so I've got all this tension in my neck and I'm like, no, I think my shoulder's fucked up. I think I did something to it today. So. Well, it's out of place. And it's because the muscles back there and up around the neck on that whole side are yeah. so tight. And as soon as they relax, it'll pop back in. So really want to put that magnesium lotion on, apply heat. And I should be taking magnesium when I'm not taking magnesium. I had a thought yesterday I should take magnesium. All right. Uh, I want to start with some, where's our background? I, I put it on. Where's I see our, it. Why do I not see it? Now there's no background. Now is there a background? Yes. Weird. Do you guys see the background? Let's go. Let's go to the, uh. No, they're not seeing it on Rumble, I don't think. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. Now it's back. All right. Um, weirded out by that. <clears throat> I, I've had a lot of restream issues here lately. So, all right. So, Jen, I got a piece of information on Saturday, <laughs> and I called Jen. Jen and I don't – we usually try not to talk because we both have our own lives, thing, lives going. But um, I also don't want, like – things I hear to pollute her thinking or her readings or anything like that. And she likes to keep it that way too. But we did talk on Saturday because I wanted to give everybody, um, I, I just dropped a little hint in the telegram channel. And by the way, the telegram channel, Mike Barrett 333, I think it is, is where you ought to be. And also over on Jennifer Falah's um, philosophy group chat, you should be over there. Looks like he's frozen. I don't know if I am. Well, while he's frozen, let's talk about Jesus. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm frozen or not. Okay, a pretty long freeze. All right. That was a pretty long freeze. Yeah, are we back? Yeah. Yeah, Cox Cable is fucked. Let me just tell you that, okay? I'm, I'm going to change as soon as I can. <laughs> Cox Cable sucks. Um, all right, so here's my bit of information that I got. A guy I know who's connected to people in the banking industry has known people that are in this process for a long time. And remember, there's uh, different tiers. There's tier one, tier one, tier two, tier three, or tier four. These people would be either two or three that he knows. They called him on Friday uh, or Saturday and told him, um, uh, my paymaster just paid me and I have liquid money in my account that I can spend from the currency exchange. Now, these people were part of groups. How the groups work or worked back in the day is mm -hmm. they said, look, we're going to form a group. A lot of them were um, a lot of them were church groups and so forth. And um, they said, you give us all of your 
dinar and all of your dong and we will you know write you a receipt so we know what you have and we'll collectively get it all together and we'll go and we'll work with the treasury and try to get a higher rate a contract rate and so these contracts were all negotiated Great, we lost it again. Um, so I heard these contracts were? Were all negotiated in 2009, 2010, et cetera. Okay. So how those groups work is that there is a central paymaster, the person who's entrusted with the currency and did the exchange. Because in a lot of cases, the exchanges were actually done eight, nine, 10 years ago. And then they're waiting for the money to be paid into their Accounts. It goes first to the paymaster's account, and then he pays out other people. So two people that my friend knows and who are have been in these groups forever claimed, called him independently, apparently, and told him that they had been paid by their paymasters on Saturday. Um, they've been paid for their dinar and their dong. This has nothing to do with the Zim, nothing. Um, so... The result was that they supposedly had many, many millions of dollars in their bank accounts that they could actually spend as part of the currency exchange. Now, I checked with um, I checked with some other folks, the broker. Um, they don't really have this information. I talked to Mark. Mark said he would check on it. I haven't heard back from him, and I didn't watch Mark this morning, so I don't know what he said this morning. But I did ask Jen on Saturday, and Jen said the story's true. At least that's what you said then. Uh, what do you get now? I don't know if it's millions, millions of dollars. And that's the thought I had over the weekend. Okay, so let's walk through this real quick before we do the Gentile. Gentile's a trip. And okay. I got a name that I'm not familiar with. I And so. And by the way, when Jen gives you the Gentile, I'm going to step out for a minute and go get my bagel uh, and eat it while I'm listening to Jen. Just so you know. Okay. <laughs> Um, boys got to eat. Rude. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so now remember when I told you I got the information about how this is set up with the treasury account, right? Then you've got okay. So what? So what you've got is the treasury is backing your big QFS account. Okay. Now what stuck out to me this weekend when I was thinking about that. Is Somebody. the information? Yeah, almost lost it. Is the information um, that came through that the Treasury cannot hold fiat dollars in this quantum financial account? It has to be notes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you have they contract with a large bank, like a big bank, like Wells Fargo, U.S. Bank, something like that. And they have what I call mm -hmm. is a holding account. You ever see anybody talking about a holding account? Yes. Yeah. They got it from me and they're lying anyway. Um, so it goes into this holding account. And from that holding account, you can hold a large amount of money in that big account. You can transfer it to your bank accounts and whatever credit unions, whatever you want to do with it from there. Okay, what I want to talk about the possibility of those notes in that treasury account having full access to that until we actually go to gold. What's going to happen if people say, oh, well, they're going to give you a percentage of it. No, what happens here is if you tell the people there, I need money right now. I got to pay my bills. I want to pay things off, blah, blah, blah. What the bank does is says, oh, we, okay, we will give you a loan. And so the Wells Fargo, whatever, puts in your holding account $100,000, $500,000. If they say we can give you a loan, ask for a large amount. <laughs> I will. Because then I can pay everything off and then I can just relax and then I can have money left over and just say, oh, yeah, well, you know, it's going to be a few months till we go to gold or whatever. Who cares? Ask for a big amount. OK, because they're looking at what you have in the Treasury. They know that this is going to happen. It's there and they will loan you that money on that. When that becomes liquid, they'll just take that money back from your Treasury account. Uh, well, you will pay them that loan off. 
I do not believe that there will be, it's not like a traditional loan where you have a payment every month. They may just, if you do, they may just tack it on. I don't know. Um, I'm starting to think that the reason why these big groups and these people who have done their exchange and have money in a quantum financial account, the money that they received could have been loans. Now, let's say if people are saying, oh, they're going to give everybody $10,000 or, or, you know, whatever my, I don't think it's full access to the treasury account. That might explain some of the delays. Um, it doesn't mean you have to wait to get money till we go to gold. It just means you have to wait to have access to the full thing because... <laughs> If there are notes in there and there are no notes in circulation, this is also why you have to have a big bank because the big bank can access the treasury account and they can um, give you fiat dollars in your holding account to use now while we're waiting to go to gold. So it would make sense that they're getting everybody's accounts Packed up and done, full of money, quantum financial account with the treasury. Um, the large banks can give out loans to people of, you know, sizable amounts based on that and what they have in there. And um, then maybe we have to wait till we go to gold. I don't know, just a thought. Um that could be wrong. Are we ready to do Gentel or what do you think? Well, yeah, we won't be a second. I just want to cross talk with you a little bit about this. So that, you know, here's what I, my impression was that this was money deposited into their bank account, bank accounts, not their holding accounts, not their treasury accounts, like deposited into their Wells Fargo bank. So it, is it possible that the groups have a different arrangement and they're able to get fiat currency with the idea that that currency will then be exchanged for the gold backs us notes later on do you think that's a possibility i think it's a possibility that they're not telling you every step and basically this person just received information while well, we've got money okay so this so you do think these two people do have spendable money in their accounts and they they believe it's from their dinar exchange so you do you do think they have spendable money in their local bank Yes. Wow. Well, I don't know what bank account it is, but um, right. <clears throat> it is fiat and it is in a bank account. It could, it could be the holding account and they transfer to their bank account or whatever. Um, I'm just starting to think that this might be a missing piece as to why these big groups and, and all that have been rumored to have been done the exchange. But does, you know, big groups waiting. We don't have access. We don't have access. We don't have access. You know, maybe at this point in time, they're they're giving out loans. Okay. I, how about this? I just got just got a message from from one of my banking contacts who said, if your people are who's watching, apparently. If your people are using an intermet if your people are using an interme intermediary broker, that would be the paymaster, right? Um, then it's possible they received a 1% fiat payment in anticipation of the RV happening soon. Is that scenario? In anticipation of going to gold. That's what I was like, there was always been a missing piece here. So where would you get the money Only to pay the, that many people 10 grand? The exchange. That's it. You got to have something as collateral right so then that means that exchanges are taking place yes even they if are. they're premature to some extent and those they're people right. probably did all this a long time ago and been yeah. sitting and waiting and they're do they're going to give them their cash payment pretty close to the time that everybody else gets starts to wrap this up and we're getting closer to going to gold okay exactly right and that's like i said because i, I think this is the part where i got cut off was 
you know, these, a lot of these people gave their currency and did some exchange process to the paymaster in like 2009 or 2010. And they've been waiting 10, <coughs> 10, 11, 12 years for this to pay out. And so now it seems like the groups are starting to get something. And it means we are extremely close. It mean it, it, it means we're well, that period of waiting time, they were waiting on a rate. Um, right now, I think we're waiting on gold. And I, yeah, think, I, mean, they, I think they have their accounts. I mean, you, you, we don't know. These people agreed to a private contract with the Treasury, I believe, is the ultimate um, arbiter here, distributor, that they would take $11 for their dinar, let's say, or and they would take $3 for their dong. Now, if the dong comes in at $5 and the dinar comes in at 16 they're going to they're going to lose some money but they made an agreement that we will get paid first and we'll accept this rate that was how so, this all, they have contracts so contracts. then the paymaster would have the qfs account correct and then a large yes. Yes. and then a large holding account mm -hmm. and all and everybody involves personal bank accounts and then they just say okay we've got it we're going to give them some money to get them by um because we're we've got their money and we can't have them going under and whatever when yeah. we have their money so they sent out 10 grand to everybody and say or we've whatever. got money right we got right. money yep. so it would be one big account then if it was a paymaster correct mm -hmm. one That's what's two. happening um don't lose hope yet all right um Does the name Alistair Crowley make any sense to you? Jesus Christ, I'm just about to write a Y file script involving Alistair Crowley. Yeah, Crowley was a bit of a Satanist, sort of weird guy from the 1920s. He's Barbara Bush's biological father. Um, he's Whoa. a weirdo. He I was... heard his name, and you know, I don't remember people's names, and I don't know anything about that dude. This is going to trip you out. Is it Gentile time? Are we going yes, to Gentile? Yes, it is. Yes, oh, it my is. God. Yeah. Well, I mean, the synchronicity of that, well, it's not a synchronicity. That it's, is weird. It's the physics working. And also, you know, you know, uh, there have been Crowleys in Congress. There's a Monica Crowley who works for, worked for Fox News, who I believe was a descendant. And the guy that AOC beat in the Democratic primary to replace was a Crowley. So, and there have been multiple times when, for instance, Barack Obama got done with the State of the Union. He steps down, and the first guy he shakes hands with is, was Representative Crowley, who was not a high ranking official in the Democratic Party. And there's a lot okay. of weirdness there, a lot of weirdness, a lot of nasty All right, stuff. So, I'm not familiar with that. And the, so, the information that I got today sounded like okay. nonsense, okay. but I heard right. Alistair Crowley loud and clear. Weird. Gentile. Gentile time. Here we go. This is interesting. Okay. Gentile for um, October 16th, 2023. Interdimensional Meditation. Archangel Michael and Gabriel. Raphael and Haniel were there as well. They did not speak. Um, and I met them in the courtyard behind my house in the sixth level of heaven. Okay. Israel. He started talking about Israel. He said the surface war was allowed to take place as cover for the underground operations to capture and or destroy a sinister group of individuals who are somehow, I put somehow, related to or followers of Alistair Crowley. I heard, so I heard that name. Um, okay, I just want to come in and say, holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> I just got the chills. It just freaked me out. All right. Okay. Okay. And I said, are we close to, I'm going to read that again. Okay, just so it's all fresh in our mind. The surface war was allowed to take place as cover for the underground operations to capture or destroy a sinister group of individuals who are somehow related to or followers of 
Alistair Crowley. I said, are we close to the end of these operations? He said, yes, the enemy hid underground and started a war for their cover. The faithful, what okay, Gabriel called the good guys, the faithful, where is that? Started a war for their cover. The faithful used it to their advantage. So we see this double thing going on. So they allow the bad guy to do something. Okay. Using it to their advantage because they're hunting them underground. Um, the enemy is trying to retreat through tunnels. Remember the Gentile wiped a while back on tunnels? It's not, the dates are not always correct on what's coming. Um, the enemy is trying to retreat through tunnels. Those tunnels are being found and blocked. Then there will be a standoff. So what I got from that, you know, and you guys, I always post the Gentel on Jennifer Fala Doring on Telegram, but it's very important that you watch the show so that it can be explained. Um, I don't write everything down. So when he told me about the tunnels, I feel like there's tunnels. There's so many tunnels that they are still finding tunnels. So good guys went down. They're after probably the last group of big bad guys head of the snake. Okay. Connects to followers of or... Um, relations of Alistair Crowley. Interesting. Hopefully I don't get killed from saying this. Um, now, as far as the RV, I was looking at him feeling very deflated today. And um, I was just standing there, like, hit me with it. Tell me what's going on with the RV. And he said, um, the exchange is real and happening. Do not doubt when you are so close to the end. So that's Jen's lesson for the day from Archangel Gabriel. Um, he said, there will be a staged event within the USA and the way he said this was interesting. <clears throat> there will be a staged event within the USA to flag certain individuals who are responsible for the delays. Then it will proceed as planned and everyone involved will be safe. Standoff, once again, he said. I don't know if the standoff in Israel and the standoff here are related we'll have to wait and see so once again the exchange is real and happening do not doubt when you are so close to the end there will be a staged event within the usa to flag he used the word flag certain individuals who are responsible for the delays in the rv then it will proceed as planned and everyone involved will be safe. Standoff. Okay, so that makes me think that the, late, the delays um, may not just be financial. They may be threats to the public. We'll have to see how that goes. In the news this week, once again, we've got trains. Trains and buses. Keep it, an eye out for word about trains and buses. Gas will be in the news this week. Now, when he first said gas, I thought of like natural gas or propane or something like that. Or maybe some kind of gas event. I don't know if it's gas prices or something like that. I feel like it was different than that. It was more of a, a vapor gas and not a liquid gas now this is weird and I, this is why i thought gentel was like total crap today because i had no idea what he was talking about um east coast push 
And I was trying to figure out what that meant. I'm thinking possible hurricane or storm. He said something about long. I assume he said Long Island. Could have been wrong. So these are what we'll see in the news this week. Trains and buses, gas, east coast push, possible hurricane or storm, Long Island. Now they could all, the, the, that last part could all be related or separate events. And that's Gentel for today. Okay, so I have a quick question. You talked about their host, they're after the host. Is... Alistair Crowley somehow still alive, and is he the host that they are after? Just to get that out of the way. He did say his name first. But, oh, yes, I forgot that. I asked about the host, the head of the snake. I asked about the head of the snake. I said, who is it? He said, that is not for you to know. Ooh. I'm like, okay, then I will not ask that again. <laughs> I'm not asking that one again. Yeah. You're troubled by an archangel. You're just like, oh, yeah. Okay. Um, that is weird. Um, I'm oh. sure I've heard that name before. Probably from me. Um, it's important to understand Crowley was, uh, you know, a anti-Christian, um, dark figure in the late 1800s, early 1900s, all the way up into the 1940s. He was a heavy influence <coughs> on <clears throat> Jack Parsons and Theodore von Karman, who were rocket scientists that founded the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, which has run all of NASA's unmanned probes to various planets forever. He firmly believed, for instance, that uh, Earth was really ruled over by the ancient Egyptian gods, Isis, Osiris, Horus, and Seth. He was uh, very much into dark magic and what they call sex magic. And he used to have all these weird orgies and all this stuff at his places. Um, and uh, let's give you a, let's share, Jen, I'm going to share here. Um, I'm going to share here. These are some pictures. Oh, of take it off. Take it off. Oh really? my God, I'm not even looking at that. Okay. You guys don't um, understand. I, okay. I, I want to connect to that. Pull it off. Okay. Uh, all right. Let me stop sharing. You don't, I take it you don't want to see the picture of Holy him, and, him and Barbara Bush. Nobody needs to be looking in those eyes. All right. You can do it. I just, when I look at someone's picture, I connect to them. <laughs> I don't want to connect oh, to think. that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't well, want to connect to the spirit of that either. So this is, um, this is smaller. This is, um, <clears throat> this is Barbara Bush and Alistair Crowley. They're, they're mother and daughter, our father and daughter. Um, and Alistair Crowley was banging, um, Barb, you know, Pauline Pierce, Barbara's mother. And mysteriously, she, um, was in London hanging out with Crowley and, you know, engaged in all this stuff. And then she suddenly returned to, I think it was New Jersey where she had Barbara and then Barbara was brought over with George Herbert Walker Bush placed with him. And he obviously, he of course is a Nazi named Scherf. He's not a Bush. If you look at Prescott Bush and George Herbert Walker Bush, they, they look nothing alike. It's clearly not his son. And he was then eventually pushed into the presidency. So um, that's that's who these people are. And I don't think Barbara Bush is a woman. Oh, God. Other people have said that, too. Really? Yeah. The whole purpose of the cult is to um, offend and defy God. God's laws, God's creations, God's rules. So Crowley's purpose in life was to um, steer men away from God and Jesus and anything holy and divine. And uh, well, that's those are the people that are running, game is, isn't it? Those are the people that are running your local neighborhood space agency as well, and have been. From and so let's talk about the problem with Israel. Okay. Okay. So 
that's supposed to be the holy land, the holiest of places, you know. Um, and you've got... <sighs> I go back to hiding in plain sight. So that is something that we're going to have to keep in the back of our minds as this thing unfolds. I don't know if we'll ever get the story about what's going on underground, but what, what a perfect place to hide and manipulate and destroy any efforts of the faithful in that area to do good, to do good for people, you know, um, Clearly, this is a problem. It's not just financial. It's not just central banks. There is a problem with this group of individuals <laughs> worldwide. And I think we're getting back down. We're getting down to this is what everyone's afraid of. They're not afraid of the big money guys. They're afraid of these people. So largest terrorist group ever. And I don't know if it's the largest, but the probably the most dangerous for probably reasons we don't want to get into or ha or know. Right. Um, yeah, I could see why this hey, is okay. the head uh, of the snake. Okay. All right. Um, uh, where is it? Where is it? That chick that does the spirit cooking is part of this. Yes. Okay, breaking news. My source for the people that got their money confirmed that their source is the 1%, is part of the 1% payout of fiat currency. And um, <clears throat> over the weekend and 9% on Thursday, I think he means he will, he, they will get another 9% on Thursday in fiat. It's paid out in fiat, but will eventually be converted to gold. That's my, I, that's my banking source. Just Obviously, he's watching too, and they're not the same. I, that's... I have two different people who are okay. because until it's re released to the public in the quantum financial system cannot hold fake money. It has to hold the notes, but until it's announced and released to the public, the other bank accounts can't hold, can only hold fiat. And so they are either the big guy, the paymaster got a loan to give out this amount, had everybody's bank accounts and is doing it in this way. That may be the delay that I saw of like 30 days. It may not just be an NDA. It might be when the country goes to gold, you have full access. So if, if the banker or the exchange guy who's sitting you down says, well, we can loan, you know, but this is collateral. We can loan you some fiat dollars into your holding account. I'd be like, I'd like a million dollars, please. And so <laughs> let's ask, let's go high, aim high. Yeah. And yeah. see what we can get because we don't know how long it'll take to actually flip to gold. I mean, it could be just right around the corner because I originally saw about a 30 day window. But don't don't be like, well, yeah, I'll take about 10 grand because just go for it. It's already backed and it'll be subtracted from what you have and paid off in full. And I don't think they charge you a payment. It's not a house loan. Yeah, that's fine. I, you know, I'll just pay my car off. And I mean, the terms are is when this, when the country goes to gold and we can put U.S. notes in bank accounts that are not the treasury account, then that amount that was given will be deducted or whatever, paid back. Okay. Um, yeah, I've got dueling um, bank sources in my messages right now, and they are agreeing with each other that this payout process would work exactly that way. And I, okay, so it looks like it's apparently happening. So that again means we are incredibly close to actually. So there's one thing I want to get straight about the war in Israel and what's going on right now. The White House did not start it. They did not say, okay, have a war. The underground bad guys that they're trying to get started mm -hmm. it to stop them from getting to them, right? So that they'd have an excuse for, you know, dirty, underhanded, you know, uh, warfare. Yeah. So the White House just said, okay, we'll use that to our advantage. So it happened. Um, that's why it's Israel for last, because this is their, their hideout, their last hideout. Okay. So I am thinking that they possibly could have. Remember when we heard that the head of the snake was in Bosnia? 
right a long time ago they've been moving around and so that was probably the ukraine thing trying to get them out of there now they're over under israel which is probably a favorite haunt of theirs um <clears throat> and they started the war for cover so that they the bad guys don't get them and then they went underground and now they're looking for all the tunnels and all the places they can and, and you know it's interesting because egypt just closed the border with gaza they're not letting anybody out of there at least on the surface underground i don't know what the situation is there but that's interesting because the egyptians are saying you're not coming here so uh, they're all trapped now in a little kill box called Gaza, right? I mean, that's where they are right now. Yeah. Um, the enemy hid underground and started a war for their cover. The faithful used it to their advantage. The enemy is trying to retreat. A place to go. Through tunnels. These tunnels are being found and blocked. They're trying to get them to go to the surface. And so that's probably why the, where they, they will be their borders. Out. Yeah, well, where they will be wiped out. Wow, that's interesting. Yes. I don't know, kind of interesting Gentile today. The mm -hmm. association with Crowley surprises me, but apparently he had a longer lasting um, you know, longer lasting effect on culture than we thought. Maybe, maybe the highest levels of our government, all the satanic stuff, maybe it's ultimately a Crowley cult. We didn't know that. Now well, we know. If they put them in positions of power. Yeah, like presidents like George Herbert Walker Bush. Yeah. Yeah, they could have done that. Interesting. Um, that's not something that would normally pop into my head. No. Not at all. A full name like that and that one. That's and me not really here. I mean, I've, I have heard that name before, but not really knowing anything about him. And now it right. fits. <clears throat> well, I'll know about him for you. You don't, you should stay away from him. Yeah. yeah. I'll know about him for you. So, all right. We have, um, how many do we have? Uh, we have about a hey, geez. 850 people in our live stream today. We're going to get to a thousand one of these days, Jen. Uh, in our live stream today, thank you all for being here. You're getting the best information we can provide. And I can assure you that the people that I'm talking to on the banking side of things are legitimate. They're not lying to me. They know what they're talking about. And you can take that to the bank. Eventually, bank. eventually you'll be able to take it to the bank. Uh, let's turn off your Gentile ticker here. And uh, what's Jen? what Jen is getting is consistently correct so thank you for being here we all appreciate it please remember that these live streams get taken down off the various youtube channels mike barrett too. well i stay on mike barrett too because i can't i can't i can't remember what my login is to mike barrett too but mike barrett too mike barrett three mike barrett 333 they mostly get taken down but you can always go to mikefarah.blogspot.com and pick up the uh latest show here let me show that pick up the latest shows and find out what's going on in um <clears throat> in the world we've got last friday's show with brooks and blake we've got our wednesday show with jen and monday show and here we are again and of course some other cool videos of lectures i've done and stuff and you have links to all my books try the triangle my my novel lightbringer a dark vision novel it's a great great read you should go pick that up and uh, all the links are right there. You know, Jen, mm -hmm. I found out I made 47 cents last week from these links on my on my blog spot. So go to my blog spot and buy a book through there. Helps awesome. me a bit. I appreciate it. All 47 cents. Also, please do not forget uh, to visit our wonderful sponsors, the CBD Gurus at the CBDGurus.com. They are all super cool people that will give you all kinds of cool, well, they won't give them to you, but they'll sell you all kinds of cool products for your health. Matt and Lucas over there at the CBD Gurus have all kinds of stuff for sleep, relax, uh, ease your pain. Go to the Mike B Wholesale tab, select Mike B, or go to the wholesale tab, select Mike B Wholesale, type in the discount code A-L-I-E-N, no capital A, no S on the end of it, and just get Alien, and uh, you'll get this week's specials. Let's see what we've got on specials. We've got the Delta 8 gummies, the Miracle Gold gummies. Wow, 1,300 milligrams, 13,000 milligrams 
of black seed oil, the Lion's Made, main, the uh, X Freeze uh, Roll On Pain Gel, which I really, really uh, advocate for. It works great. Um, and all kinds of other cool stuff the uh, immunity stuff, the pet treats are there, the Delta A gummies, and a new product, Jen. It might be Mark Z pajamas, lounge pants for ladies and gentlemen with flying saucers. Me and my face, aliens, and Mark Z are also available on the site. What do you think of those, Jen? Do you think do you need that's some? hilarious? Um, didn't they didn't they put it under formal wear too? Yeah, I think uh, is formal wear. That's awesome. I think there's formal wear here, uh, and uh, I I think we should put that face, you know, in a in a different spot. How do I get out of this, Mike? Mike, how do you, oh, you go back. Okay. So, uh, Mike Z, uh, Mark B wholesale shop. Uh, where is it? Home, uh, might be on my Mark Z, on my Mike B wholesale thing. Might be a link in there. Well, the Mark Z and then there's whiskey and wisdom pants with, uh, with Mark's picture and some whiskey. And there's a new version of those coming out as well. So, um, and eventually Jen, we're going to have a whole array of products for uh, the ladies, we're going to have pajama tops with uh, my face and Mark's face strategically placed. Uh, on That's funny. Tops. So, I, uh, yeah, we're the brainstorming meeting Mark, when they all oh, sat around and said, "Hey, let's have a product. What should we have? Oh, let's have lounge pants with my face on it." <laughs> uh, Mike, there's there's Mark Z formal wear, and yeah, Mike B formal wear. Um, <clears throat> there you go. That's good stuff. So we're gonna we're gonna expand that product line as as time goes on. So, all right, Jen, why don't you tell us what is going on over at jenniferfalot.com? Well, we do still have the rapid fire reading sale. This is a half hour reading, and you can ask me anything. Dream interpretation um, is something that you know I'm pretty good at. You know, the best person to interpret dream is you, but I walk you through it. Um, anything you can think of mysteries of the world. You want me to take a look in some house somewhere and find out what's in it. We, we could do that on the phone. Um, interesting stuff. You can also ask life questions and everything. The only thing we don't do is do a full mediumship reading where we connect with people that's playing interpreter in a conversation, but, uh, basically ask me anything. And so this is a good one to give to people. If they just, you know, want to talk to a psychic and ask all kinds of questions they've always wondered about. Uh, this is more of a fun reading. This will not be available for very long. This is $20 off the regular price of a 30-minute reading. So these are good to pick up in bulk. I can give you gift certificates, email after purchase. Um, that is the sale right now. Um, go to jenniferfullot.com if you want to get multiples. You can um, use the love button. And it'll, let you, it'll take a card and it'll let you type in the amount. Just email me, tell me what you did. All right. That is what's going on over at jenniferfalla.com right now. Let's demonstrate this, Jen. Let's do a rapid fire. So it's girl I talked to yesterday, good girlfriend material. No. That makes it even sexier. There we go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a good thing you guys don't hear our private conversations Mike and I about his love life all right we got a few minutes left before we get out of here Jen has a lot to get to today but we're gonna take some questions we're gonna start over on the rumble side because the people who subscribe for five dollars a month on rumble get to ask their questions first again I want to remind everybody we need your first name at least your first name and the name of the person or pet or whatever entity you are asking about oh uh, yeah i was also going to mention somebody said long island flooded over a week ago that's thank you for that anna also um there was a train derailment i think it was in south carolina yesterday and um they think it might have been the bridge might have been blown up okay well so when i asked i said in the news this week so let's it's storms right i'm really looking for new stuff here i think that's you know what are we going to see this new? Well, then I guess it's going to get in the news. Okay, let's go over to the Rumble side of the house. Looking for those little red castles. $5 a month. There's a subscribe button at the bottom. You just hit that. Uh, a lot of people say nice things. Appreciate all you guys. Let's see if we have any questions. Uh, Leslie asks, little red castle gets to go first. What keeps the cabal from bailing in, bailing in the RV funds? In other words, stealing them 
out of the accounts? And I think the answer is the quantum financial system, which is going to hold your accounts and nobody's going to be able to get to them except you. But uh, anything you want you to add? You and that? the big bank who has, with your authorization, some kind of code to access that account. Yep. Tamara Pepper. Hi, Mike and Jen. My 14 year Little Red Castle. My 14 year old grandson, Owen, is with me today. Jen is doing a healing on his alcoholic mother. Do the angels have a message for Owen? He could use something positive. Sounds like Owen's a little down on the mouth. What's going on? Um, so, Jen, anything for Tamara and Owen? Any message for Owen? Well, he needs to know that he is very smart and very capable, and he will be a very successful man someday. All right. Uh, Scott, Statue of Liberty on uh, Little Red Castle, $5 a month subscription contributor. Statue of Liberty on Long Island destroyed, question mark. I, I guess he's asking. Um, I guess he's asking. Is the Statue of Liberty going to be destroyed? Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, Scott also, Little Red Castle, says the train was in Colorado yesterday. Okay, let's let's look for new stuff. Um, okay. Uh, back over to our side of the house. Let's go to the pinned messages. Patriot girl, no, yes, girl. Hi, Mike and Jen. Jen, could you please ask the angels if my son should go on his field trip to Boston, Massachusetts on Wednesday? I'm a nervous mama. There's a possibility they will cancel. It just depends on the timing of events. Um, if they do not cancel, it's most likely safe. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Chris Iverson is here. Batman, no stress. Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, Deb says, wild sex will do your shoulder in every time. That's funny. Thanks, Deb. It might be, but thanks, Deb. Uh, Adam Greaves, Greavesy. Says hi, Mike and Jen. How do you feel for the safety of the UK with what's going on in Gaza? Personally, I don't feel safe because I've been, you know, last few times I've been to Manchester and London, it's just overrun by Islamists, and you know they blew up a bunch of your little girls in Manchester. So about five years. Yeah, ago. and the last Gentile I believe said on English soil. Yeah. So be careful. Yeah, I'd be careful. We love you, Adam. So be careful. Um, a holding account? Are they arresting Dracula? That's a bad dad joke. Very bad dad joke. Um, Mike Mick says, as I understand it, tier 4B has to get notices before these other tiers get gold back currency. Yes, but there are other things going on. The 1% stuff, the 1% payout stuff. Nobody's going to have the money to give everybody 1% and 9% if they don't have that in the gold back, in that that U.S. notes in that quantum financial account. Okay. I don't care what you're, this guy, this Paymaster sold. Let me hear. It. I'll just give everybody one percent first, and then I'll give you nine out of my own account. No. Mm -mm. Crowley was a black hat. Yep. Uh, if Crowley was here today, he'd be a Biden supporter. No kidding. Um, talk about an affront to God. Joe Biden is an affront to God. Uh, Nanette O'Meara, Jen, what's with my stomach aches for two weeks? You have a touch of acid reflux and possible IBS. You've got a lot of inflammation in your um, intestines. They look very red, very inflamed. So anything that's going through there is um, causing cramping. Okay. So you probably want to have that, take that information to the doctor. You've got a lot of inflammation, not inflammation. Inflammation. Is, yes. I like get inflammation, but, but my hearing's not the best anymore. So too many kiss concerts. Uh, Sandy says, Jen, can you please ask if we're getting an 800 number to call to make our appointment to exchange or when the rates change, do we go to Wells Fargo Bank? We're, there's supposed to be 800 numbers. I think. Right. There are supposed to, they will either, there will be notifications. I'm not sure if they just put out a list of 1-800 numbers or you get a notification, like a link to follow to be routed to that list or you will call in to make your appointment. So ever, however that transpires. Um, right. Okay. Rick Norman, George Kittle had one reception yesterday for one yard. He can't produce if you don't throw to him. Debo out, McCaffrey out, you don't throw to him. Yeah, stage. Uh, try having Geno Smith as your quarterback, Rick. That's all I got to say about that. Uh, Carissa Holcomb, hi, Mike and Jen. How come some people have woken up, but others still have not? Wouldn't God wish for everyone? 
Yes. Well, it's the same well. reason why a wife has had every, you know, reason to believe her husband's a cheater and lots of evidence, but doesn't because she can't freaking handle that right now. Yeah. And doesn't want it to be real. And this is, you know, that has a lot to do with why people do or don't believe anything. Don't want to change their lives. You know, they don't want to have their lives. They don't want that to be real. That's too much. I can't handle that. Uh, Crowley also influenced L. Ron Hubbard. Not really. L. Ron Hubbard was involved with Jack Parsons, who was involved with Crowley. Uh, from what I've read and I wrote about, and I'm going to be putting into my script I'm going to be working on this week, um, Crowley actually had a lot of disdain for but it's you know there is some association there uh ron davidoff pick freak me out too yep if you're sensitive linda smith says i hope long island is okay i have a really good friend who lives there right by the water well to some extent yes but you know montauk is there where they did a lot of weird experiments plum island if you watch the Y files a few weeks ago where they do are doing abominable genetic experiments um would get would get wiped out so you know that i'm not I'm not going to say that that upsets me too much because it, it really does. That part of it was with the long line was what's in the news this week. So, yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. And I'm not even sure if it was Long Island. I heard long something. And yeah. he was talking about the East Coast. So I assumed it was Long Island. Uh, okay. Looking down. There we are. Okay. Let's go look for other questions. Was Betty White Barbara Bush's sister and Crowley's daughter as well? No. No. Um, did Crowley perform black magic rituals to open a tear, uh, tear in space and time to allow in demons? Actually, the purpose of Jack Parsons experiments, the Babylon working they called it, is he wanted to create, he wanted to um bring the antichrist in yeah that was what he was doing but i don't think crowley as i understand it was not um crowley was not all how do you think we got ahead of a snake now it wasn't the antichrist what they've been their their number one goal all along has been <clears throat> to for long periods of time, dumb down and make the population of this dimension, this planet, so miserable that the collective vibration of this dimension, now dimensions are a spectrum of vibrations, okay? Um, long explanation, but each separation of self of God must exist at a different vibrational level. They've been trying to take over this dimension and lower the collective vibration so much that they can let in that big bad guy. Now this, they have open portals and they have let pe bad guys come in and freaking possess people is what I'm seeing. And I'm going to cut off from that real quick. Um, that's how they got the heads of the snakes. There were three. It's not just a person. It's a host. Um, when when Gabriel said host, I knew exactly what he was talking about. And I'm like, okay. <clears throat> so we don't want to think about that anymore. We're going to let them do that. I think we're going to drop the Crowley stuff for now uh, for the rest of the show. Uh, haven't seen any Wolvie alerts lately. Is he in Heidi? Uh, JK says, th your show is so exciting. Thank you. Tell everybody. Post it in every Telegram yeah, you group. Share everywhere us. You can. Everywhere you can. Um, uh, when two bankers agree, I take it, sir. Okay. Oh, that's fair enough. Um, 30 pounds of gold costs $1 million right now. Yeah, that's a lot of money out there. Um Wow, a lot of inappropriate head of the snake humor in here. Um, Rick Norman, Jen, I believe my type 2 diabetes is under control. Am I still a diabetic? Can you see? Yes, you would still be classified as a diabetic. It has come down to a good level. We just don't want to say, oh, I'm not diabetic anymore. I start eating cookies and stuff because right. it's just going to go back. So it's something you're always going to have to keep up on. 
once a diabetic, always a diabetic as far as the pharmaceutical industry is concerned. Uh, Mike, I enjoyed Lightbringer. Seriously, it's a great, it's a great book, good novel. You should, uh, you should pick it up, folks. Um, missed last Friday, but watched it. It was really good. Good, good, good. Um, Mike, any chance of just now and then having Blake come in on Monday or Wednesday? Just wondering. Uh, Mike, everyone loves Blake. Know what I mean? Yeah, um, Blake comes when he can, and uh, so yeah. Uh, he's always my first go-to if Jen can't be on the show. So, uh, mm -hmm. Mike, what level is she on on the hot crazy scale? Well, on the hot scale, she's a 10. So we'll just go with that. Uh, crazy, I have yet to figure that out. Um, I Deb says, I would buy pajama pants with Mike's face on the butter crotch area. All right, Deb. Uh, all right, enough of that, Deb. Enough of that. Well, that's the idea. Deb, uh, stay um, drinking. Just kidding. <laughs> Mike calls me, what was it, like, 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday. He's like, can you answer your question for me? Or are you day drinking yet? And I'm like, oh, is it time for me to day drink now? It was about 4. It's more like 4. Was it like 4? Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Jen, are the um, Hollywood strikes part of the White Hat's agenda to clean house? Interesting question. When you said that, and we, we were talking about the um, Crowley thing, um, I see these veins going through that whole area. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Um, yeah, the train derailment was in Pueblo, Cal Colorado. And Jen, I do think it's relevant because it was just yesterday. So, you know, it's probably relevant. Um, also, you know, it might, Jen, what if it was a train full of gas, natural gas or something? Let's or keep an eye out. All right. The Space Force really have evidence that the 2020 election was stolen. This was a popular thing that was going around and actually retweeted by some fairly prominent people. The Space Force have the evidence that the 2020 election was stolen. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Mike, surprised to catch this live. Richard Sprague, only seen you on Mark Z. Good to know you do other lives. Yeah, uh, Mondays and Wednesdays with Jen, and then I do the Friday evening show. And Mark comes on the Friday evening. Uh, okay, Kimberly Reck is here. Hi, Kimmy. How are you? Glad to see you on there. Uh, also, Blake has a live show on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Follow him on YouTube for alerts. It's called the Agree to Disagree Show, and they do it right out of the same restream right here. Okay, Jen, let's slide back over to Rumble, see if there's any new questions. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Mom for Jackson. $5 subscriber, Jen. She's just subscribed. Mom for Jackson. Get your little red castle. Thank you, Mom. Just saying hello and appreciate you both, Jen. Check your tip jar. That's great. Uh, also, 528 Hertz is now a monthly supporter. And Big Poet. So those are monthly. $5 a month. We love you guys. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. And I think it's Joe Evans who sends me a little tip for every show. I want to thank you for that. Yeah. Yeah. I get one from him, too. I do thank see you. it. Thank you. So much. Appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> Lisa Lucy, Little Red Castle. Hi, Mike and Jen. My son, John Lucy, is getting engaged the beginning of November. Will all go okay? He's getting engaged? Yeah. Uh, John Lucy is getting engaged the beginning of November. Will everything go okay? Hmm. Found a little bit of a question on whether he's getting engaged. So let's watch that. Let's watch that one. Okay. David Murto says, Jen, dot five dollar little red castle. Jen, there was a stand down. Was a stand down order given in Israel to allow the Palestinians? They're not Palestinians. They're Hamas. Uh, there's no such thing as a Palestinian again. But anyway, w was a stand down order given in Israel to allow the uh, Muslims to invade? Or is that just sort of a urban myth? I'm not getting a straight answer on that. I, I heard no, and then I got yes. So okay, I don't know. Um, I'm not hearing the right answer on that. Steve Templeton wants to know, is flooding in the Middle East intentional to catch the evil ones? Are they trying to flood them out? No. Okay. And uh, Joanne QAnon says, Wolverine's brother just had an, an operation um on his heart surgery he had heart surgery so he's been busy um 
Okay, Scott, 1484. Scott says, will I get the property I'm looking for at for my wellness center? Scott? Will he get the property he's looking at for his wellness center? That he's looking at. So I have to know what he's looking at as well. So let me see. It's not that one. Um, Leslie wants to know if her arm will ever heal and be in one piece again. Looks like he did something to the ligaments, like right on the underside of it or something. Um, <clears throat> it will heal and stop bothering you so much, but right now it looks pretty messed up. Leslie, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Uh, Mama Gurma, I don't know your name. Will the RV come in time for me to purchase the land I've picked out for a family home? So we don't know. We can't answer that question. All right. Uh, Big Poet, any word from the mechanic lately? Well, he was just in town. And uh, he did confirm, Jen, that Jen says she saw the missing F-35 in a hangar somewhere. And the mechanic did confirm it is at Elmendorf Air Force Base in Alaska, along with another F-35. It's part of some sort of special operation that's going out, on out there. Um, Tim wants to know, do I, why do I feel professional abundance without a job? Because it's coming. <laughs> That's the unspoken knowing that us as human beings, that's our guidance that we get all the time. When all mm -hmm. of a sudden you've stressed about something like me with the, you know, taxes for like um, a year and everything like a week before you're like, ah, I'm not going to worry about that anymore. Um, and for no reason. And then everything turns out fine. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Mike, do you Venmo? No, I got kicked off of Venmo and PayPal, but because I'm conservative, talked about election fraud. Therefore, I'm not an okay person. I have Cash App and Zelle. Yeah, and I got like, Ads. I got kicked out of GoDaddy payments because I am some kind of, you know, sorcerer or something. That's yeah. what they assume. I'm, I'm a fortune teller and right. I'm a risk. And so that's why I have to schedule all your appointments by hand. Any updates on the trail, boss? I was thinking about him during my morning walk today. Other than him being a stud like, toxically masculine dude, no from Steve. Steve's awesome. All right, guys, that is going to wrap the show up. Thank you for being here with us. Jen's got a bunch of appointments to get to. She's trying to catch up to all your readings. We will let her go. We will be back on Wednesday with an update on circumstances. And I'm going to continue to work the banking side of this and see if we have any more evidence or any supporting evidence that this uh, these payments have taken place. I believe firmly that they have at this point. And it seems to be fitting the proper pattern. And that's very exciting. So, mm -hmm. uh, don't know what else to say about that, except that it feels like we're getting closer and closer in spite of everything going on in the world. And Jen just gave you a completely new spin for what's going on in the world <clears throat> right now. It ought to be fascinating stuff. All right. Well, it's, it's really interesting when, when people ask what is going on or how is it going to happen rather than when, because everybody asks me when. And clearly, when things are moved around, that's been moved. Um, also, to my clients, um, I am very stressed out because I'm behind. I had to do Katie's birthday and the taxes and clean the house and do all this running around and everything. Just be patient with me. I'm catching up this week, and I'm all stressed out. People are going to start sending me emails <coughs> complaining. <laughs> so don't do that to me, please. Jenny. I'm going to get... Uh, you will get your email that your healing or whatever has been done over the course of the next few days. I'm going to weed it in, fit it in here and there. Stay and, late. Um, do you think that the name you got today, who we shall not speak, and it's 1111, just pops up as I'm asking this. The name of the person. Do you think that that person's name is going to become back into the public? No. Because I think you're right in not speaking that name. I, they gave it to me so that we would be aware. Um, and so there's probably not a lot of um, danger in speaking it. But there's a reason why I never say the names of big bad guys. Okay. You know, the S name and, you know, the D name and all kinds of stuff. Because we don't want to draw any attention to ourselves. 
you can call out the name of Jesus and you can call out the name of God or you can call out Archangel Michael and they hear you, right? Let's assume there's something to that. Every spirit that inhabits a body and outside of it speaks through telepathy. Your prayers are telepathy. Everything is telepathy. And so at this point in time, you really don't realize what you're projecting or who you're calling to you. So be careful what you say. And Michael told me that. Okay. Um, you're frozen. I was, my connection got dropped. As soon as I asked that question, our connection got interfered with. So let's drop it. Let's get out of here. And Jen, I'll see you back again here on Wednesday. Love all you guys. Take care of yourselves. Be vigilant. Um, and let's see what happens this week. It'll be an interesting week. Bye.